hey you guys welcome back to my channel today we are gonna do a quick video probably not even five minutes I just wanted to share something with you guys that I learned um, a few days ago I was looking for more things to sublimate with my printer. I have the Epson EcoTank 8550 and I was just looking for some extra things to sublimate and then I found out you can sublimate on these acrylic disc keychains. They're just the regular blank keychains and I already have my prints printed and cut out. All I did was cut them out and I used some heat tape to put them on there. This is what they look like if you've never seen them. They come like this and then they have a sticky backing. It's kind of like a cardboard or like a paper sticker and then you just peel the back off and it's on both sides. So you peel the back off of both sides and it's ready to go. But I already have these all here. They're keychains. These are three inches in diameter and these are about two and a half. I have the cupcake shape ones. They're kind of hard to see because like I said, they are clear. So we're going to sublimate on these and we're going to do 385 for 60 seconds. And then as soon as we finish sublimating on them, we have to put them in this water. That's why I have this water right here. It's kind of warm, so it won't drop the temperature too much after coming from off the heat press. And I have my butcher paper. I'm going to cover them with butcher paper. Oh, it would help if I flip them around, right, y'all? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip them around so that way they're all ready to be pressed. And I just put the sticker paper, I mean the heat tape on there so that the way they wouldn't slide around because last night when I did it, it kind of slid around. Okay, so I have my heat press. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press this time is ready to go. I'm going to cover this layer with paper and then I'm going to get ready to press it for 385 for 60 seconds. I'm going to put a little pressure on there so I can make sure everything gets good. And then we're going to do this 385 for 60 seconds. Then we're going to drop it straight into the water. So that way we can cool it down. But we don't want to cool it down too fast or they might warp, like bends a little bit. So that's why you want warm water instead of cool water. I learned this in my um, crafting groups that you could sublimate on acrylic. And a lot of people didn't really know. And then when you go to YouTube, you don't see too many videos about it. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys real quick. But we got about 13 seconds left. And then I'm going to do the second round. When you drop them in the water... You just let them sit in there for a second and then you kind of rub them off and then the paper will come right on off. I'm going to let it go just a couple more seconds. Okay. Now, let's see. All right, where's I don't have a oven safe mitt, y'all. So this is how I'm going to pick them up. All right. And into the water it goes. Uh-oh. One got stuck. One of the things fell off. Came off pretty easy though, but at least the design was stuck on there good. I'm going to let those sit in there for a second. But you see how I just got them sitting in the water? And it's a little warm. It's not hot, but it's a little warm. Because you don't want to drop the temperature on them too quick. But you do want to go ahead and cool them down. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my other ones down. So I can press those. And I got the blanks from this website called Zendi. It's a craft website. 
They're about a dollar a piece, I want to say. And I have another unicorn head. And we're going to go ahead and press those real quick. And while those are pressing, I'm going to take these out the water and start to dry them off. See, you just take them out the water and the sticker peels off kind of easy, comes right on off. I probably should have pressed that a little longer. Yeah, I think I should have. It still looks cute though. But I'm going to do that one over because that was one of my favorite ones. I'm going to put a little more pressure on this one right here. But you see how it's coming out? I'll show you up against a white background in a second because of course they're coming out clear on this clear background. Okay. Oh my goodness, I didn't even start the time on the heat press. I was about to say, y'all ain't said nothing but Y'all ain't there right now. <laughs> technically. Technically you are, you are if you're watching this. But technically you're not. Okay, let me give these a little more pressure. Because I don't like the way the other ones came out. I mean they came out good. But you can tell I just didn't use enough pressure on a few of them. But they look good. Let it go a little while longer. I probably should have used my regular heat press, but for the sake of the video, I had wanted to use this one. Okay, those do look a little better. Yeah, I think these came out better. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I can tell. Just by how vibrant that is that it came out better. And I used more pressure, and I did just a little bit more time. Oh, that one came out real nice. I like that. It says, wait, pray, slay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. And then... Okay, I'm going to show you guys the other ones that we just did. Let me put it on there so you can see it better. I should have pressed those a little harder. You'll see the difference when I show you these right here. Because these came out better. See the difference? That one pops a lot better. Look at this one. The Wait, Pray, Slay. That came out nice too. I'm trying to dry it off for you guys. The Wait, Pray, Slay came out good. And then the holy with the hands. Uh, that color is really popping. Let's see if I can zoom it in for you guys. You see they came out good. And then this one right here. It looks good too. 
Let me dry it off. I use Cosmos ink in my ET 8550. You know, I love it. It's the only sublimation ink I've ever used. And I just think it's so cool that we can sublimate on these. I'm going to do a few more, but I just wanted to do a, a quick demonstration for you too because so many people didn't know that we could sublimate on these acrylic keychains mine are a little thicker if you have the thinner ones they might melt a little bit so just make sure you lay them flat as soon as you take them off the heat press and then that one turned out real popping y'all see that let me see if i can zoom in That one turned out real good. That's how it looks when you hold it up. And what I'm going to do for the background is I'm going to paint the background on them like white or I'm going to put white vinyl. And then you can also add glitter to them. You can spray paint them and then seal them with clear spray paint. However you want to do the back is up to you. But I am going to add white vinyl to the back of mine just so that way they pop more and then look how they look right now. Because when you pick them up, see, they're pretty much see-through. So you can't see too much on them, but you can still see. So it's really up to you if you want to keep that, that see-through back or not. But they look so cute. I really like them. And then you could put so, so many cute designs on them. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick another option that we have with our sublimation printers. These cute keychains. I just love, love, love them. And don't forget that you need to give them a warm bath as soon as you take them from the heat press. So that way they don't warp. Like this one right here. It warped a tiny bit. A tiny bit but you can't even really tell and then with it being in the shape of a heart I think that made it cute so I like that these came out real good I'm really happy I'm gonna do the taco one and this one right here over because I didn't use enough pressure so they're a little faded so I'm going to do those over. But the rest of these came out real nice. Like all of these came out real nice. This one could had a little more pressure on this side right here. But outside of that, they came out real, real nice. This one right here is popping. So yes, I like that one. And I like the weight pray slay. I'm going to add those to my website. I'll leave the link in the bio. But I'm going to dress them up and put some vinyl on them and make them look real cute. Before I add them to my website. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Another thing we can do with our sublimation printers. This I thought this was so so cool. And so neat. Because I had a drawer full of these. And I have them in all different shapes and designs. So I'm really excited to pick some more designs. To make some more. But that's it. A quick tutorial on sublimating on acrylic. There's nothing on the acrylic. I took the sticker backing off. And I sublimated straight onto the acrylic. So yes, it is very possible. Another thing we can sublimate on. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a good day.